Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, back at it again today. Uh, Changes the spark plugs in my 2011 Silverado uh, 5.3. Um, spark plug wires has been a pain. Um, it's always been a pain. Uh, it seems like they stick to the plugs more than any other vehicle. Uh, so, anyways, I've devised a way to show you how, how I did it um, without any special tools. Um, first, I got all of them off except for this one. Uh, for some reason, I decided to do uh, the very back, the hardest one for my videos. So, uh, go figure. Yay me. So, first thing I'm going to do is take the, the wire, right? So, it's a very short wire. runs from the, the coil to the plug. It's the same on all eight cylinders if you're new to this. Uh, and then I'm going to grab some vice grips. Oh, sorry, excuse me. First, I'm going to grab the wire and try to get it to rotate by hand. It's, you try to break it free, um, just working it back and forth, working it back and forth. I just have to feel it. You'll eventually feel it let go. Okay. So I was able to get this one to crack loose, uh, just rotating it clockwise and counterclockwise. Um, seems to be a correlation. If you can do that, then they, they break free. If they can't, then they'll, they'll end up breaking on the plug. You gotta pull the metal part of the, of the wire off the plug before you can get the spark plug wrench on there. So, okay. So I wasn't able to do this and hold the camera at the same time. So, uh, what I did was I attached the vice grips to the rubber boot and then I've got it leveraged against that, uh, bolt or stud down here um, that holds the manifold to the uh, or the start of the shield to the manifold to the head kind of see everything there and I'm just going to use that to leverage this away um, really try to make sure you're not on the wire not on the shield otherwise eh, if you could if, if you deform the shield a lot eh, probably not that big a deal I, I don't really know but I try to stick to the rubber part of the boot and then pull oh. Go my vice grip same time, ease these out. All right, so I got it. Um, again, I had the vice grips clamped around here, uh, this rubber part right there, uh, and then pulling out there. If you get it on the wire, you'll probably just rip the wire out. Um, if you get here, you'll just smash this heat shield in, it'll be kind of left with a mess. Um, <laughs> done it before, as me, I know. Uh, and then this is what happens if the, the wire doesn't come out clean. This is the, the conductor part of the wire. It sits inside here somewhere. Um, and then if this does break off, then you get a pair of pliers and rip this off. Oops. So uh, that's what I was trying to avoid. I did break two wires. Um, <laughs> got some blood down here. Uh, and that's why I decided there has to be a better way. Um, if you get your fingers around a seat shield, you will cut your hands all up. It'll be nasty. So I was looking for a way to get my hands away from the heat shield um, to avoid all that blood. Uh, and I, some of the other videos I've seen, it had a screwdriver push down, pull up. Um, it does work for you great, uh, but uh, I thought this would be a little bit different way than I've seen before. It seemed to be pretty effective once I started uh, working it, uh, not on this side, but on the other side. Uh, I had like a 100% success rate. So uh, anyways, hey, good luck. Uh, keep wrenching, uh, keep getting dirty. Thanks for watching. Give me a like and subscribe.